The Hyperloop is essentially a train in a tube with each car stretching over 100 feet, carrying 30 to 40 passengers using magnetic fields to levitate as it reaches speeds over 700 miles an hour. Hyperloop Transportation Technologies is the name of the company that has just entered into an agreement with NOACA, the Northeast Ohio Area-Wide Coordinating Agency, and the Illinois Department of Transportation to begin work on a feasibility study on a Hyperloop route connecting Cleveland and Chicago. 313 miles in just 28 minutes. The train cars would travel in low-pressure tubes, primarily elevated on pylons. Dirk Alborn is the man behind HTT. He told executives at BMW the system will not only be green, it has a big benefit for us because we're producing more energy than we're using. So now our operational costs are very, very low. NOACA's board has authorized $600,000 to fund the estimated $1.2 million feasibility study to look at several corridors between Cleveland and Chicago. This comes as another company, Hyperloop One, created by Virgin Airlines founder Richard Branson, announced they are part of a $2.5 million effort that is exploring a Pittsburgh to Columbus to Chicago Hyperloop. Both are offshoots of the Hyperloop concept first envisioned five years ago by SpaceX founder Elon Musk. More details of the Cleveland plan will be announced on Monday. John Kasich, News 5.